you can't go out there and 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 potentially which is a potential it's not it's not guaranteed beat up uncle mike the guy that's so loved by the world and I, you you don't get no respect for that you don't get no cool points for that let's say you go in there and you do beat up uncle mike so you think now people are going to respect you oh jake paul yeah you beat mike tyson 58 year old mike tyson no you're not going to get the respect for that um you know when the fight happens he'll be 58 years old it'll be a 31 year age difference between these two and you know jake paul did fight a kid his age and he lost you know um i just saw this thing on the internet yesterday I reposted it where it says after if he wins if he beats Mike Tyson he's gonna fight uh, Clint Eastwood next. <laughs> Clint Eastwood's 93 <laughs> years old. Um, it's just this charade, this absolute shit show that he's selling to the younger people. Now, granted, this is on Netflix. It's not gonna be on pay per view, and a lot of people will watch it. Fair play to Netflix. Fair play to Mike Tyson. Fair play to all the managers. They're gonna get paid. This will be massive massive business okay but at core this is a 27 year old whatever he is going up against an almost 60 year old man this to me is one of those things where i don't know how he was raised but this i feel like it has to do with something to do with the family atmosphere this shouldn't even be happening but i would even go as far as like even with the anderson silva fight i was like okay maybe i'm okay with it because anderson was still active Still training, still. Mike's been training here and there. I mean, he looked great in Riyadh. I saw him in Riyadh. He'd been training here and there. He looked like he's leaned out. He looks like he understands, you know, where he's going with this. I get it, but what what are you looking to accomplish outside of just money? Saying you beat Mike Tyson, but you didn't beat Mike Tyson. You didn't beat Mike that's Tyson. The point, that's the point that I think you're getting at. But I'm looking at it more from a more from I don't want to say it's it's a it's a respect thing. Learn how to respect no, the is. people that came before you. And this is just blatant disrespect. And the fact that Mike was just entertained this, I want to know why. I'm going to tell you something, man. I love that Mike going to make his money. I really do love that Mike is going to make his money. But to me, it's some baby bag BS, man. You got Jake Paul, who just fought some dude last weekend, was a minus 2,500 underdog to Jake Paul. It doesn't happen like that. This guy speaks of building himself as a true fighter, him fighting a 57-year-old Mike Tyson doesn't do that. But for me, it, it, it does set a bad precedent in the, in the industry because what you've got now is, and I'll say this to the young, young athletes coming up, men and women, don't aspire to be, you know, a, a, one of these like YouTuber fighters. Right. And, That's, you, yeah, aspire for world titles, mm -hmm. aspire for Olympic. That is how you write. That is how forever. That is how you, you, you etch your name in history. And listen, fair play, right? In the capitalist society, well done to him. He's making money, right? But, but put the label of businessman on him because he ain't, the label of fighter doesn't apply. Jake, Jake Paul is such a fucking coward. Like you're, you're picking guys who, who can't box, wrestlers like Jake Paul. I would for five million. I would fight you to the fucking death. I'm not even. I'm not even. I'm not even joking. I'm, I'm being 100 percent serious. I would go to a deserted island with you today and fight you to the death for five million. But here's the thing about you, Jake Paul. You're a fucking coward. You little. You're the. You're the. You're the. You're the. You're the, you're the millennial YouTube generation. You just do shit for attention. You're a weak man, and you're gonna continue to be a weak. I hate the fact that Jake Paul, continuously, continuously fights old men it shows a weakness it, it, it's like it's it's like a hunter he's gathering pelts and he wants that pelt that mike tyson is has created over all these years and everything that we all love about him we, i got one young kid who wants to take and face a guy who is nowhere near, I mean, so far from what he was at one time. Mike Tyson young, Jake Paul would not even go within 50 feet of him. He'd be no. terrified. Yes. Mike Tyson and the goons that used to surround him, the nation of Islam, 
would mm -hmm. take Jake, Jake Paul. They would take him behind a building somewhere. They would beat the living shit out of him. Him and all of his security and all those guys had no <laughs> chance to go up to Mike Tyson, speak to Mike Tyson as if yes. you're going to smack Mike Tyson around. Mike Tyson would treat Jake Paul, Mike Tyson Young, just like the reporter he talked about oh, how he would treat him in that prison. Do you remember that when Mike was talking to that reporter? Yeah. That, that's what Mike Tyson Young would do to Jake Paul. Yes. So that is the scary part about them going to fight because I want to see Mike Tyson Young treat Jake Paul like that. I actually I don't think know that so Mike Tyson Old can treat Jake Paul like that. We should all f***ing boycott the rest of his fights until he f***ing fights someone that's on his level or whatever level he we deem him to be on. You talk all this shit about MMA fighters. You talk shit about the UFC. You, then you pretend that you want to bring fighters up and you want everyone to get paid better, but then you trash everyone every time they fight. Now we're paying all, we're putting food on your fucking table for you to drag our legends, older, shorter, smaller, past their prime legends that have spent their entire careers running their bodies into fucking car accidents. And then we hold, we hold these guys near and dear to our heart. And then yeah. this kid just pulls them out of my retirement and then just knocks them out and can pay-per-view and then just and then she'll shits on all of us like go f yourself like why are we still f pandering to this piece of the picture the potential picture that mike tyson could be lying on the floor and jake paul could be standing uh above him i hate yeah it's just mike tyson's legacy to be to all come down to not that it takes it completely takes it away but for this next generation to be re to remember Mike Tyson in that picture, uh, I would hate. Okay. I would hate uh, for somebody that's not achieved enough yet in boxing uh, to to be given that opportunity. Yeah, is is ugly. And I'm not a Jake Paul hater. I'm really not. It's just a guy that goes on saying he's going to be one of the greatest in the world and all the rest of it, and talking shit about older fighters from the MMA world, people that have, you know done it the hard way, taken the long path. Listen, he's had a, a hack, you know, he's had a shortcut to success in combat sports world because of his following. There's nothing wrong with that. Fair play, this is the modern world that we live in, okay? The TikTok generation, the YouTube generation, all the rest of it. But a lot of fighters, they didn't have that. So they scratched and clawed and worked their way up. Years of blood, sweat and tears, sacrifice, sleeping in the cars, going without, and they grew up in very bad circumstances, and they were able to make something of themselves. Then as they've got older, Jake Paul cherry-picked them. Cherry-picked them to make himself look good, to make himself more popular, to make himself look like a badass. Ultimately, in my opinion, to make him look like something that he's not. I, I don't know that he thought this one through as much as he probably should have been, because if you just go out there and you just beat the shit out of Mike Tyson, yeah. everybody's going to be really mad at you. Really I mean, mad really you. mad. Mike Tyson, even though he's measured now, he's still Mike Tyson. And if shit goes crazy, I hope Mike bite that motherfucker, son. If Mike give, if he don't beat Mike, and Mike bites him, no, that don't, make don't do it. My life. You think Mike gonna bite his ass? If shit goes I hope he bite him. Stop. He'll get teased for taking this fight for one. He'll get teased for that. He'll work work himself through that. But uh, yeah, if he goes out there and cleans his clock, they're gonna come down on him. They're you gonna think? come down on Jake. Yeah. At some point, who someone has to be guiding this kid's career. Do you want to be taken seriously as a boxer? Or do you want to just be that famous YouTuber that, that did the boxing thing? It's at what cost? At what level do you ex like do you expect me as a professional fighter, as a real fighter, to respect you for this? What right. Jake wants is Jake wants to make money. Yes. The people that follow Jake Paul don't buy Jake Paul's fights. So Jake Paul has to fight people who can actually sell pay-per-views. Yeah. Jake Paul is fishing and searching and scavenging every couch cushion for a former addict, a guy that needs a paycheck that used to be able to do it, to get in there and beat the fuck out of him in front of the whole world to tell everyone how great he is. That, in the words of Nate, Nick Diaz, is wolf tail tickets. In the words of Habib Nurmagomedov, this is number one bullshit, brother. And in the word of Michael Bisping, he is the biggest con man in all of goddamn boxing.